Welcome to the Calvin College Food Recovery Network. We are excited to have you volunteer with us. Before you come to a recovery, be sure you are wearing long pants and closed-toed shoes. This is for your safety in case anything hot were to spill in the dining hall. When you enter the dining hall for a recovery, you may walk straight into the kitchen in either Commons or Knollcrest. If you are carrying the FRN bags, please place them on the ground and off to the side so that they aren't in the way of dining hall staff. Always be aware of your surroundings in the kitchen, as dining hall employees will be moving around in the same area. If you have long hair, be sure to put it up before beginning to work with the food, and always wash your hands with soap for at least 15 seconds before handling any food or food containers. After you have washed your hands, put on a clean pair of gloves. You should be able to find a box of gloves on or beneath the tables in the kitchen. During the recovery, if you use your gloved hands to transfer food or your gloves become dirty, please throw them away and put on a new pair. In order to be sure that the food has been properly stored and prepared, we take the temperature of each food while it is still in the dining hall trays. Cold food should be less than 41 degrees Fahrenheit, and hot food should be above 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Before taking the temperature, use a probe wipe to disinfect the thermometer, then insert the thermometer into the food as far as you can. Wait for the needle to stop moving before recording the temperature in the binder, and clean the thermometer with a probe wipe in between each measurement. Spoons, spatulas, and tongs are used to transfer the food from the dining hall trays to our containers, and these utensils can be found at specific locations in each kitchen. If you are unsure where the utensils are stored, simply ask one of the dining hall staff, who would be happy to show you. Once a container has been filled, use the scale from the FRN bags to weigh it. Record the weight of each type of food in the binder. This data is sent to our partner organizations and to the FRN National Organization for their record keeping. When all the containers have been weighed and placed in the FRN bags, wipe down the counter and the scale with a wet washcloth, cleaning up any spills or food residue. Now you are ready to transport the food to the partner organization. Thanks for your help!